Christmas light switch on this year took months of planning. It involved the process of ourselves with our partners, Dublin City Council, but it actually brought in all of the city stakeholders from the Gardaí to all the transport companies and it's everybody working together. The event has become very popular over the last number of years and the crowds have been growing. So last year in Grafton Street, we planned an event for a certain number of people and more than double that turned up. And with the curve in the street, the people down the end of the street where we're standing right now at Brown Thomas couldn't see or hear what was going on. So when we all sat down, all of the city stakeholders, we came up with a plan of having a procession and the reason for that is that the entertainment comes to the people so it doesn't matter where you stand you can stand the whole way down Grafton Street outside Trinity O'Connell Street Henry Street you can stand anywhere and you will see the moment the lights go on and you will see a beautiful procession the reason why for two starting points and one end point is just to take the pressure off the city from a restrictions point of view so there isn't any major traffic restrictions or impact on business uh, by doing it this way so it's the best plan for the city and uh, we're looking forward to a great night I hope that people come back into the city. This is about getting the people of Dublin to reclaim the city, to come back in. Dublin is a great place, but what we're about here is trying to create memories, positive experiences for people to get them in. And when you look at what the businesses are doing, like when you look at the front of Brown Thomas or Marks and Spencer's, added in with the lights, Grafton Street, Henry Street, O'Connor Street, they're beautiful places to be.